is a chantel here so i'm just showing you all the products that i'm going to be using when i make my card here i kept this card really simple and uh because i'm just getting back into uh, making cards again and <laughs> have to laugh to me afterwards it was a little too simple so yeah i'm using this card stock for my base it's actually um mia what is it the uh, Desert Storm cardstock that came in the kit. So, uh, of course, I'm cutting it down so it's an, like, an A2 normal card, if that's what it is. Um, card here. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to use this paper. Oh, and I am using, I don't know if Stampin' Up! still sells this, but it was a heart die. Watch me, I'm gonna flinch here. I'm gonna try this big one and then I'm gonna go for the next one. I actually got cut on my dye. Um, there was really thin, um, like hair like um, metal pieces, and I've never had that happen. And I've used this dye before. So I went into it after and really made sure to get rid of all those little pieces and then got them in the garbage because ouch, that really did hurt. So yeah, anyway, sorry about that. <laughs> So I'm going to cut out this heart using the paper that came with this kit, which is Forever My Always by Pebbles. It's a really pretty uh, Valentine's collection here. So I know I want to use this heart and I know I want to use the saying that says I really like you. So I'm going to stick it right in the middle there. But before I do that, I'm going to find acrylic block that I know will fit that stamp. And then I'm going to come back in. I'm going to find a littler stamp. I'm going to come back in because I want to take that really pretty, um, it's kind of a pink shimmer that came in the kit. It's so pretty, but in my mind it just didn't come out as clear as I wanted it. I would like it to be a little bit more brighter and uh, but oh well it it looks pretty it still says Valentine so I'm going to use the heart um, just the enclosed heart and stamp it all over then I'll clean that off <laughs> and out of baby wipes to clean my stamps and then I just remembered I ran a, I ran a, over today and once again I forgot them oh well so I'm just using water and a paper towel and then I'm going to grab the other heart that's an outline also in the stamp set and just place them throughout just adding a little bit of background like I said it was more thought it would look better <laughs> lesson learned So I'm going to set that aside to just let it dry a bit. I'm going to come back in and uh, see, here's where I made another mistake. I was going to use my Versa, uh, fine, uh, Versa Mark, sorry, ink pad there. But then I decided, you know what, I'm going to just use an ink pad. I've seen people do this and theirs turn out beautifully, but mine was an epic fail. It, half of it stamped not all of it but lesson learned so anyways I'm going to stamp it with your next stamp uh, black um, olive love this stamp even though I didn't turn out the way I wanted it to it's still really dark and crisp and that's what I do like about it so yeah <laughs> oh, wow. live and learn right <laughs> So yeah, place that down, looks really cute. And here's where I come back in with black embossing powder. Love using this stuff. I always never use it on my scrapbooking. I always use it in card making. So I'm gonna come back in and heat that up a bit. So don't worry, I only show just a little bit of me Keep bossing it. Ah, it's done. It's okay. So now I'm going to put, like I said, I do really keep this card really simple. So I decided, 
I'm going to stitch on it, but I'm just going to put a little X on it. So of course I had to go through my stash and find all my stuff again. Everything, um, this uh, template is from Stampin' Up. I don't think they make it anymore. Um, and then the thread is from uh, one of Amy Tan's kits that she had. It's just the black one. So like I said, I'm just going to do a little cross stitch. Is that what you call it? <laughs> There's so out of the loop with this stuff. But it just looks so cute. It just off looks homemade. <laughs> so that is what I'm doing right now. Sorry you don't see all of this. Don't worry, jump a bit. See and done. Just so cute. And if I was really more ballsy, I guess you could say, I would have stitched all around the heart, but instead I decide to, because uh, I know I want to add more black to it. So I'm going to come back in with one of my markers here, but before I do that, I'm going to cut this little bit of the top of the paper pad. I never like to waste those, so I like to use them as much as I can. I know I'm going to stick it in the middle, I mean, sorry, inside the card. Uh, here I know I'm going to start gluing that down. <laughs> Nothing more exciting than tape. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going to place it right there. I'll get to the bottom a little bit more. Like I said, I just noticed it just screamed like it needed more black. So I'm going to add these puffy stickers. They are from Main Squeeze from Crate Paper. They're so adorable. So I add the little lips to it. And here's where I come in with just, a, it's called a Sharpie pen marker. It's not as black as I wanted it to be, but it was the only thing I had on my desk at the time. It'll work just fine. So yeah, just doing a stitch all the way around. So yeah, now I'm going to work in on uh, or inside the card. Little puffy heart, can't refuse that. And then I use the stamp set again. I'm gonna use the XO XO. So cute using the same ink that I used before. Granula. So yeah, like I said, still thinking I need more black, so that's when I'm going to <laughs> pull my um, delusions. The black one, I think it's um, black marble. I think is what it's called. And then I'm just gonna sprinkle all over my card here. And that finishes up my card. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, as always, leave them down below. Bye.